Working with you, and I think these things are very important and will be very meaningful to you. Here again is our missionary in training, Randy Tarr. You can see his chores are not just messing around at the dinner table, but he does have paperwork to do. And well, Randy, what else do you do around here? No, actually, I teach at the Bible school, which is about uh, 16 miles from town, and I teach there at the moment a couple days a week. I preach every weekend out in the bush someplace, and quite often we do evangelistic services like on a Saturday night or a Friday night, and then spend the weekend out in the bush. So well, that's basically my task. What do you mean by evangelistic services? Uh, we'll go out and uh, show a film at one of our local churches or to a fairly new site where we might not have a church set up yet. And uh, very often we'll have a crowd between 250 and 1,000 people out in the little bush town. Is that because of the movies or the special events? They want to see what's happening? Yeah, the movie kind of draws them and then we hit them with the word of God. That's great. Hi. Come on, Mike. Bonjour. Uh-oh. Here we go, Frankie. The, the, three are, oh, the three are now five. Okay. <laughs> okay. They're there. They're, they're, gonna, they're gonna swamp you, Jake. Yeah, yeah there's gonna be about 300 in a minute. That's all right. Here we have Mike Crucker with his generosity towards some of the locals here. Manja. Manja. That's Italian. Italian says manja. <laughs> he was teaching in Polish on the street out there, so... <laughs> Hey Mike, come up, turn around and have a nice close shot with you and your kids. Look at me. This, this big guy here can eat a lot, I'll bet. Huh? So cute. Over here we have the site of the new church. And within today or the next few days, we're going to be putting the tin roof on it. It's our job. So the people here are really pleased to have a new church where they can worship in and have enough space and a little bit more comfort. Even though here it's still not much. It's still just a block building. But to them it means the world. Here we have the inside of the church. The new church, the block church. They all made this probably in just a few days they put up all these blocks. Each block is handmade and they're put together with mud and then the mud is dried on, baked on by the sun. And here these are the pews for the people to sit on. And this is all they have to work with. See the windows? This is really it. And the work begins see our workers, uh, some of them sitting on top of the roof. What they're doing right now is they're uh, stringing a rope up and measuring f how high it is from the peak down to the top of the roof. They all work together here, whatever they have to do. Don't have our modern technology out here. It's the way they got to carry pieces of wood. Yeah, boys. Uh, <laughs> Peter of the Roof. <laughs> Peter of the Roof. 
watching. Wave to the camera. <laughs> They're all sitting in the comfort of the shade watching us all work. Coming right back on the job site here. And uh, the hardest part of the work is beginning now. Yes. Rich is up there chopping out to some of the block so they can set the trusses in. This is my men working up there on the trusses themselves. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Quite a tall, eh, Rich? Don't go too deep, Rich. Once you get past the brick, there's, you know... That's one Trusses are getting closer and closer to being put up. The trusses are beginning to go up. Here we can see some of the work we've gotten accomplished today. The trusses are just about all up, tied down. And tomorrow we'll be able to put the sheet metal on top of the roof. It should hopefully only take us about half a day. Right here is one day's work. And we did take a break for about two hours this afternoon because it was just too hot to work.
behind right now. This is our second day of work on the church. As you can see, in just a few short hours, we've put up the whole roof. Or we're just finishing up right now on the top of this roof. You can see we've got the whole, all the main parts of the roof done and up. What they're doing right now, these two, are putting on the cap to cover any of the holes in the middle that wouldn't exactly line up. This whole process of the metal on the roof has only taken a couple of hours. We started oh, about 7.30 or 8 o'clock this morning and just went at it, put up the whole roof. If all goes well, we should be out of here by noon, maybe even a little bit sooner, and have this church roof completed. That will be just a little bit over a day, about a day and a half's work for this. This is the way they actually live. These are their houses, their, their what do you want to call huts, and their granaries. Rain. Their whole little village here. Each person stays and keeps their, their animals and their food and lives right here. This is their complex. We're now walking into another section of their little town. whole group of them there. We have a guide, one of the Christians here, is showing us where he lives. And that's why we're able to see this village up close. Here we have their water supply. As you can see, it looks like most of it's dried up. It appears as if during the rainy season they may have a big lake. Well, the rainy season doesn't start until, I believe it's uh, August or July, August, September, October, that time of year. Right now, this looks like it all could be filled with water at certain times of the year. The butchered cow right here, you can see the head. And the rest of the body parts. And these seem to be the gentlemen who've done that. This is the way they do most of their hauling of their goods, right here on a donkey cart. Culture's really different here. This is some of the outside of the compound here. in the evening. On our second job site. It's 9 o'clock in the morning on February 20th. This is a Friday morning. We've been working for about an hour and a half right now. These gentlemen here are working on the trusses for the next roof. Over here we have the work on the supporting beams for the outside. Here's the church. Here's the peanut gallery. We have the ladies with us today out at the vans. They're taking care of our food and water and getting their experience in the bush. Go ahead, Don. I'm standing with Pastor Andrew Sama, pastor of our church here in the village of Sabu, 
about 50 kilometers outside of the capital city of Ouagadougou. We're standing next to the little building that they have been meeting in until this new church construction project arrived. Pastor was telling me just a few minutes ago that uh, another pastor was here for 11 years in this village. And during that 11 year period, there were 15 people coming to church. And about uh, mid-1984, the Lord called Andrew to come here and since uh, July of 1984, we might say a year and a half, he now has over 100 believers. And the reason for the growth of the church here basically has been God working miracles of healing. There are many sick people that are coming uh, to the church, and uh, this is one way all over Burkina Faso that we see tremendous church growth. This village has been one very deeply steeped in uh, animism and fetish worship uh, to the west of the village, not too far from here, is a sacred pool of crocodiles. The crocodile in Africa has always had uh, supernatural connotations, and these crocodiles have been kept there uh, as sacred animals for the fetish worshippers. So this village has had a, a real strong, a real deep root in that type of uh, fetish worship, but we praise the Lord that those uh, chains are being broken. The Church of Jesus Christ being built and we just see real anticipation in the eyes of everyone as the construction going forward on their new building, their new house of worship. Okay. Results of our morning's work. We have the roof beams, all the trusses up, and in a little while, as soon as they're all tied down, we're going to take a lunch break and uh, come back and put on the roof. This should be completed in one day if all goes well. Here's a church just about completed now. The roof.
you, thank you, Lord, with all of our hearts. It's very easy to sing in Mori, so let me say the words slowly to you, and then you can try to sing it with us. Bardica is the word for thank you. Bardica, Bardica, win now. Bardica, Bardica, win now. Bardica, Bardica, win now. Name Suri Khan. Any M. Name Suri Khan. That's all there is to it. Six words. I'm one comma. He's not even watching it. What's in his mouth? He swallowed the tray with two. Look out, Betty. Who wants something by themselves? I do. Oh. He's harvest. Well, Just arrived in the village of Kui, where we were supposed to put up the, our third and final roof. We just had a weekend, Saturday and Sunday off. Went to church yesterday, had a really beautiful worship service, and here we are ready to work. As you can see here, they weren't quite ready for us. Since we just arrived here after about a two and a half hour ride, we'll probably end up putting up the rest of the ceiling, the, the walls, and <clears throat> hope to come back tomorrow and put up the roof, if time permits. broken up into two groups. As you can see we've set up a scaffolding over here. There's some bricks in front of that for the masons to be working. We have uh, people from the village helping out bringing the bricks close to the building so we can begin to put them up. Over here we have another group building the trusses. Most likely we won't finish this and <clears throat> it'll take us two or three days from what we're looking at right now. Lord willing, we'll have enough time to finish it before we have to go home. We've just arrived at the Bible school in Chibu. This is the one that uh, the first team had laid the foundation for. There's class going on right now inside. Much has changed since we've been here. These are some of the dormitories they're building. It's really developed into a rather large complex.
We now decide whether the classrooms in this classroom. This is, a this is a second year Bible school class. They're Bible school. <laughs> The rest of the walls were put up. Just about completed. We've been working on it since 7 30 this morning. Right now they're just capping it off. We've got both sides of the roof all done. Just put the centerpiece. So hopefully by about 12 o'clock we should finish up, be able to pray for the church and uh, get on our way. For 